today, but uh, since we live so close by, Mike wasn't doing anything this morning. We just got back from Cary, Illinois, from Motion RC, and uh, guess what we got in this box here? Mike's going to, uh, he, actually, he's got to run here. He's got to take off, uh, so we're going to be doing the unboxing but uh, uh, here in a little bit. But I uh, want to thank Mike for running me out to Cary, Illinois. Hey, I have a nice place out there, guys, Motion RC. Uh, got an unboxing here of the oh. brand new, B24 Liberator in olive green, and we'll get this out of the box here in just a moment. Hold tight. I'm getting attacked by your dog. <laughs> Keep it running. Hey there, YouTubers. Skip here from Skip Rolt RC. Uh, crash test Mike had to take off. He had a, another engagement, a prior promise he forgot about. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to wing this one on my own. Uh, this is the B24 Liberator uh, by Flightline RC, Motion RC's uh, exclusive line. Um, went out to, the, uh, to their warehouse today and, and picked it up. So uh, let's not waste any time to take a look at this. Um, one thing I want to mention, I didn't uh, notice till we were on the way home, uh, one of the tubes of uh, foam tech glue I, I bought has a cracked top on it and it's it's leaked out in there. I don't know how much is if it's gotten hard or not yet, I'll find out. If it's just something as simple as a top, I'll just replace that, otherwise I'm sure they'll take care of that. So, uh, and the reason I got the, the one ounce tubes, guys, is you still get two ounces for, for the 10 bucks, the 9.99 that they charge. But I always have a tendency of, uh, well, unless I'm building a lot, and I haven't been lately, I get a tube that gets down to about about that far, and it gets kind of hard. So you end up wasting a lot. And I think with the tubes, you know, I'll use it as I need it. Roll the tube up, and you know, the less air space in there, chances are it's not going to go bad. Uh, I can sure I can find another tube, uh, a, a top to put on there, or I'll stick a golf tee or something in there. But um, We'll have to see if it's been been, uh, been cracked for a while or not. So uh, I also got one of the Admiral receivers that they've been advertising. I'm not real sure about it. From what I understand, Lemon uh, makes it, but they went in technology and stuff and worked with Motions. Uh, uh, well, Motion RC wanted some specific stuff and, and that done. So this has really been kind of made for them. This has got the stabilization, the uh, panic switch, um, three different modes, I guess. So we're going to check this thing out. It's supposed to be uh, pretty good with my, my Spectrum. It'll supposed to be compatible with the Spectrum receiver. That's the word I was looking for. So let's move this stuff out of the way. Uh, I do plan on trying to fly this thing in the winter. Uh, probably out on the ice, maybe, when, uh, when, when the ice is thick enough and I can go out there and get it, should I have to. Uh, but I'm going to corrosion next uh, the ESCs and, and motors and just some of the vital stuff. Won't do that now. We're just going to unbox this thing and take a look and see what we got. This is actually the only the fourth Flightline RC plane I've got. I've got the Tiger Cat, the Bear Cat. Um, I've got the P30 or uh, P38, and and then now this one. I guess people were having some difficulties or problems with T connectors, so they're going to switch, start switching their airplanes now to XT60s. Uh, no big deal. I'll just make up a couple of adapters. Because I've already got a couple of batteries. They recommend uh, Ryan, uh, Captain Ryan, is recommending flying this on the uh, 4000s. Well, I've got the 3600 Pros, which would be just about the same weight and everything. Uh, probably actually a little added performance. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. And open up the bottom at all. Okay. It always opens easier if you a little air in through the bottom. So 
helps and allows you to just push the plane out rather than fight it. And the box is still intact. Anyway, I was waiting this thing uh, as soon as I heard that, uh, that it was going to be released and with uh, uh, a lot of the septic tank problems and pumps and, and transmission on my truck and stuff like that, I didn't see where the money was going to come from. So I've got to say thank you uh, to, to uh, well, my mom for one, she sent me a check for 300 bucks this year for Christmas, which is awesome, and uh, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, you, Google. Uh, sent me a check for $151 or $152, something like that, on uh, just a couple days before Christmas. And bam, all I had to do was add another $17. I got my Liberator. So, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and. Uh, Hope you're going to have a nice new year this year. This turns out to be my, uh, my Christmas present this year, so I'm kind of happy about it. I don't see any more hiding back here, so that should do it. Drum roll, Willie? No. Nap time. Dogs are out like a light. Still a snug fit in the box. Yeah, I went to uh, went there with Mike this morning to uh, carry. Carry is just a couple of towns away from me, actually. Yeah, this thing's really giving me a humdinger. Uh, and they've moved into the new building. They did that last year, I believe. Uh, but I've not been out that way. It's, it's nice. They've got a nice uh, a nice setup, a nice showroom. They've got some airplanes hanging in there. Some some of the older stuff. I think they may have used to uh, used to have dealt with LX models. They had a, an old LX uh, F117A Nighthawk, like like I've got, hanging in there. And they're showing them too. I'm really getting this thing here, guys. It's, it's, it's coming. <laughs> I don't get this. Give up any ground here, right? Is it getting anywhere? Well, usually gravity works. I'm getting the air up into the box. Come on. Pete's sake. I was going to say that this is going to be an, an unboxing and then a reboxing because I'm not sure if I'm going to build it yet, considering the weather, but I'm going to. Corrosion exit, I'll probably fly it out on the ice. That was like work. Cool looking box. I expected more color than the kind of a black and but yeah, it looks pretty neat. So let's see, right off the bat, we we'll start off, I see it's two levels. Start off with your decals. Got a manual in there, shows placements and stuff of. Oh, watch the Motion RC channel, they show you all the different decals and stuff that are actually available. Um, some are going to be water slides, some are going to be uh, just a vinyl stick on. And you see, there's like some, uh, I can see in there that there's some US insignias and stuff like that. An instruction manual 
shows everything, all the hookup points for your control rods. Shows a little box and stuff in there with your connect connections. I believe hooking the gyro receiver up to this is probably going to be pretty easy. That's something I'll have to go through and, and learn a little bit about. So there's our manual. one of the wings. You see the cells and motors and, and gear and everything are already hooked up to it. Uh, so all the, the ball arms and stuff like that under the uh, clevises are, are already pre-installed. You're just going to have to put the rods and stuff and connect it. Well, let's pull one of these bad boys out and take a look. That's what I'm seeing so far. I, I'm really kind of liking it. That does not sound good. And it's jamming. I'll find a screw or something stuck in there, right? Okay, possible warranty issue here, motion. Um, so far the cracked foam tech. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. But I'm gonna have to get into that to look and see what the heck. Oh, now it stopped. It's jammed. Lo guessing a loose magnet. I mean, there's nothing falling out in there. Okay, well, we might have a small problem, so we're going to put this back in the box. We'll show you the rest of it, guys, and then I'm probably going to have to get a hold of Motion and ask him about that. And I might have to make a tri another trip out to carry. So in the meantime, we will just take it real easy like this. In fact, I'm going to cut the video right short right now uh, and leave everything else as it is. I'm going to go ahead and check the other motors, see if we got the same problems there. Seems okay. Yeah, those motors seem fine. But this one's got a loose magnet or something, so I'll give the boys a call and uh, we'll finish this unboxing later. Hold tight. Damn. Okay guys, I've taken, uh, before I go any further in taking this plane apart, I want to see what Motion wants to do, if they want the whole plane back, or if they've got the motors. I don't think they have the parts for these yet. Uh, you know, I could wait for it, whatever. But I took the thing apart to make sure there was nothing maybe sticking back there. And it still has the same, same problem. Let's see if I don't want to hurt the plastic here. Hold on one second. Or hurt the uh, it's, it's foam 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 around the cowl so it's not plastic but uh, set that there hold it and it's still like metal against sometimes it clunks and it sticks and it and I have to wiggle it to, to free it up again Try to get the camera a little bit closer so you can hear it at least. Anyway, it's 
So before I go any further, I'm going to tuck this back in there very carefully and get a hold of uh, our guys over there at Motion and uh, see what's up. Okay. Catch you in a little bit when I get this figured out. Probably roll it all into one. Thanks for watching. Guys, I just spoke to Motion RC up uh, out there and texted them in an email and uh, uh, did a real short little clip of them uh, so that they could see just this part and they didn't have to watch the whole video. Uh, but uh, they're going to they're going to take care of this right away for me. Obviously, this plane is one of the first ones that came in. Uh, they don't even have the spare parts here yet, but it is they are on the way. Um, if they want to take this back from me and give me a whole new one, that's fine. If they want to want to wait another week or two. Uh, until the motors come in this is an easy quick change. I don't mind doing that either So however they want to deal with it. They've been good to me, and I don't mind so in the meantime I don't see any reason we can't finish at least unboxing this thing, right? Okay, sorry I shouldn't be smoking on YouTube Shouldn't be smoking anyway, right? All right, I think we might have enough light here. Let's give another little uh, Added light to the we need that so anyway I was looking at the rest of this plane though and or, you know, the rest of the wing all the other motors seemed fine but I wanted to pull this out the finish out on this thing is just absolutely gorgeous uh, they've got some really neat stuff in here uh, this I guess there's a whole lot more that can go on here too with the parts kits and stuff that we get to see uh, I was concerned about the wheels, you know, considering there's no suspension on the stock one. They are coming out with an upgraded with suspension for the mains. But the wheels themselves are pretty darn soft. So they're going to be very low bounce, I would say. They're nice. Good, 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 good tires. They use good stuff on there. Uh, look at that. Well, ball bearings, guys. Ball bearings. It's gonna be, this is just a, a nice vehicle. Not going to be nice right all together. Split flaps. Even painted inside there. They mesh up very nicely. I mean, you almost look at it, don't even realize it. It's a split flap, but uh, very, very nice job. Ball clevises, brass ball clevises, not plastic that the FMS is using. Not that they're bad, but I, I do kind of like the fact that the brass is a little bit, well, a little more there. You can get a plier up underneath of it and pop the, the thing off without worrying about, you know, ruining the, the plastic ball as, as opposed to the brass. So anyway, everything else looks like it works pretty nice. It's beautiful, beautiful paintwork. I mean, honestly, I almost, it really almost doesn't look like a foamy. Uh, that's just one of the wings, guys. So let's get this one, put it back in the bag so we keep it protected. Depending on uh, what motion wants to do with this, uh, you know, I don't care. It's, it's, it's a beautiful plane. I'm glad, glad to have it. The way it worked out was really kind of neat. Uh, you know, my mom sent me $300 for Christmas and I got 150 like 150 bucks from YouTube so uh, that pretty much paid for the plane I think 17 bucks came out of my pocket for this and then whatever else I paid for the receiver and the, and the foam tack loop kind of looking forward to trying to uh, try out that Admiral receiver with the, uh, the stabilizers and, and the ultra stable where it self levels and everything and it's got a one button panic mode thing you know heaven knows I should panic up there uh, same deal here though guys motors are fine these feet these spin nice and nice and nice and freely the finish on this one looks very nice as well I'm gonna completely take this stuff out so you guys get to see this it was it looks like somebody really took some time uh, doing these things and the paint work on this is just gorgeous as I turn it over I mean I don't even see places where it's been rested and set you know and then painted and they pick it up and then there's that blotch You'll see that a lot of, uh, uh, I hate to say it, on FMS models, some of their 1700 millimeter series had the most horrible mold marks. And uh, you just don't see that on the free wing and the flight lines uh, series. Motion seems to carry some pretty good stuff. Again, what all bearings, all everything nice, looking good. Split flaps, split flaps, it lines up real nice. They've got reinforcement in there with that to, to keep it straight and true for you too. Works very nicely. They're on, they're on balls here, so I mean, it's, it's very scale looking, guys. Uh, no problem with these motors at all. They feel just fine. This is going to be a fun plane to fly. Fun plane to fly. 
the uh, ice is starting to freeze up over there by uh, uh, Marty's and Mike's and probably going to be a very good place to put this thing down on a flat surface and just fly it out there. Mate, we'll probably do the maiden right off the ice. That's why I want to do the little corrosion necks uh, and stuff on it anyway. So, like I say, if I've got to replace a motor, no big deal. I'm going to pull the motors out anyway so that I can corrosion X them and get back there and, and hit the ESCs and stuff as well. Because uh, if I'm going off the ice, chances are I'm going to be sucking up some kind of, uh, uh, I'm going to be sucking up some, some snow. So let's put these back in here like they go. And then we'll get to the bottom part of this thing. whole top end here pretty much is just uh, is, is just wings. It's just the wings. Let's set this off to the side. I see if I can get the other part apart. There is another bag in here of, of some goodies, uh, electronic components. They've got your EC uh, XT60 connectors. Now they said that people were having trouble with the uh, um, Dean's connectors, which I can understand. Sometimes the little things break apart in there and then you got to mix with them and, or end up replacing them. These are a lot more durable. Uh, if I'd have started off with these, I'd have probably stayed with them. Uh, either these or the EC5s or EC3s are fine too. Uh, the, Dean's, the Dean's connectors are kind of a pain in the butt. But they've got all this stuff here, the little foamy stuff that you can put down to hold in the battery. Uh, they got your, uh, I believe that's a timer, probably, probably a delay for the, uh, for the retracts. Uh, we'll find out what all the rest of this stuff is for. And then you've got your different uh, gizmos and stuff in here for all your antennas and different trims and some, some window packages that you get to put on the, on the fuselage. So they've got that tucked up in here and they even gave you a little tube of glue just in case yours came with holes in it. <laughs> uh, but a little tube of glue just to, they say you don't really need any glue except just to put the windows on it. And a few, a few of these things. So that's kind of cool. That's, uh, that's nice. If I can get to the bottom section here, this is going to let me open, or does it take two? It might be taped. They do that sometimes. Okay, they do that all the time. That one, and then that should do it. So yeah, I'm very excited about this, guys. It was very unexpected. I've only bought two planes this entire year. The last one was the uh, A-10 80 millimeter Thunderbolt by Freewing, and uh, I ordered that one in let's see March, and I didn't get it until May, beginning of May. And that's the only plane I've bought all year since. I've bought a couple uh, of boats, and I bought a small micro drone. You've been seeing me flying that that little Inductrix FPV. That's that's a gas, and I'm getting better with it. Let's see, so now what do we got in here? We've got spars and things like that. They give you a nice little pull tube here to help you get uh, pull the wires and stuff through the different areas. Uh, they did an excellent build video. I don't even know why I'm going to do one, except I just did kind of do on those things. So uh, I'll try to make it a little bit different than theirs. But they do a very good uh, build video and explain a whole lot of things, too. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I watched it uh, just so that I can get some better tips and, and, and ideas as I was going. Here's one of the uh, the rear stabilizers, and it looks like you've got all the servos and everything in there, ball clamps wired up. But again, you'll be fishing this through the tail section, which has got to be in here somewhere. Uh, here's two different, uh, or here's one of the nose cones. We'll see two different options. There we go. One with the bird cage, pretty cool. Uh, be real nice if you happen to bump one and have a little mess, mishap, and you're like, ah, oh, doggone it, you know. But it's not that bad. But you know, you can always just pop up pop the other nose on and there's a nice new airplane again, right? So this one's pretty neat looking. I like the one with the, the turret and stuff and I'm probably, knowing me, I like to do the gizmo stuff and, and, and do that kind of stuff. So I'm probably going to put a little servo in there and hook it up to, you know, with, with a Y onto something so that the gun turns and things like that. I'll hook it up to the rudder, Y it in. So uh, pretty neat, pretty neat so far. This is going to be a customizer's dream. The only problem, I, I mean, I really do kind of wish they could have put some kind of wing, wing lights in this. You know, honestly, just, just some wing lights. Because to try and adapt, you know, uh, your own aftermarket wing lights, you know, sometimes can look a little shoddy. 
Uh, you don't notice it when you're flying it, but up close, you know, yeah, they're there. But the ones that are built in really nice, in fact, they've got some, I think, that I might be able to order and, and actually put in there if I decide to do that. But uh, this is a customizer's dream, and there's a lot of guys out there that are doing a lot of that. And from what I understand, also, they're doing some uh, uh, other modifications that they're going to sell with not just the upgraded landing gear, but the uh, fuselage. They're going to do a 3D printed fuselage um, with a bunch of detail stuff. And here we got our prop setups. It's going to bag nicely and all the parts and stuff are in there. All four. And down here is got a tail section. And again, these basically the wires get run through using that, that wire. They get run through and they screwed in with it, just a couple of screws. And uh, we've got that part going. tail section. Again, it looks very nice, guys. They got it all painted up for you and everything. Um, I mean, I don't even see dull spots and stuff. Like when I work the work the rudders and stuff, they've really kind of covered every all the angles, so you don't have to get in there and dust it yourself to, to really give it that extra touch of, of scale. Yeah, let's see, we've got a couple more things back in here. Uh, the clear plastic pieces and stuff that, get, that go on to those the nose cones and the gunner's turrets and, and the top of the plane. Uh, there's a gunner's turret and stuff too that also gets hooked up with the servo. Again, check out the Motion RC website. They've been uh, they've done quite a few uh, videos of this. The build video is excellent. So the way this thing flies looks incredible. Looks like it's going to have a hell of a lot uh, of tail control. So and being short, I'm kind of curious how it's going to fly with big, long, skinny wings. But um, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty cool. And with the stabilized receiver, I won't have a problem anyway. Probably take off with the super safe mode just to make sure everything goes good. And when I get comfortable, start switching that stuff off. But let's get this fuselage out of here and take a look. Uh, there was not a dent one on this box when I got it from them today, which really made me happy because that just means it hasn't been bounced around. And going there to pick it up was just the best thing I probably could do because. Uh, since they moved to Cary, it goes from Cary sometimes to three or four different post offices, including Chicago, and it's almost guaranteed to get beat up a little bit going through Chicago. Um, and considering I live in the door, uh, town right next door, this is cool. See, that's one of the gun turrets that, that's been. And, uh, I mean, the, the canopy's actually, the cockpit's actually not that bad looking when you take a look in there. But uh, this is in very good shape. So yeah, I went going there to pick it up. I got it. There's not a mark on the box. You almost know that the inside is just going to be looking great, beautiful, nice paintwork, real nice paintwork. Um, I don't see that they've missed anything. Here I don't see not a dent, not a scratch. They just, I got real lucky on this one, guys, except for the one motor. I don't see any other problems. We haven't done any of the electronics testing yet, which I will do. Uh, waiting to hear them hear back from them though. I uh, did talk to them. I did send them a video and they already did get back to me and this all happened within about 10 minutes guys. So they got back to me right away and they got a, a support ticket and I imagine either uh, they're gonna do the whole plane if it's that easy or save cost just send me a motor. Either or I wouldn't care less. It's a gorgeous plane. I can't wait to put it together and I will see you then. Uh, have a happy new year, guys. If I don't see you by then, uh, keep it safe, keep the drinking down, and if you don't, have fun. Just don't get in trouble. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. We're going to put this bad boy together. It's going to be fun. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. I'm going to have to find a place to put this one. I might have to sell a couple of mine. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am probably going to be selling some of my models and, and pretty soon I'll put a video up on the ones that are for sale and give you guys first shot at it. Thanks for watching. See you soon for the build.